Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another crappy day of getting disconnected to Red Dead Online. Now, you guys are probably wondering why I'm starting on this one. Well, maybe you should re-listen to the intro of this thing. I have tried literally for the past 45 minutes to log into Red Dead Online, and I have yet to be successful of staying into a lobby more than maybe a minute or so. I literally able to get Madame Nazar's location and I'm not probably going to be able to show this to you guys but I'm going to try to explain everything the best that I could. I actually quickly got a uh, recording on all of the daily challenges so that at least we can go over them just in case we can't actually stay in a session long enough to go over them. But anyway, we're going to go over three things in this video. We're going to go over all of the uh, we're going to go over Madame Nazar's location first. The next thing that we're actually going to go over is all the daily collection sets and their current cycles. And then last but not least, we're going to go over all the daily challenges in extensive detail so that you guys can earn as much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online. So, um, obviously I can't show you guys on the map where you guys will be able to find a Madame Nazar for today. So I'm going to explain this the best way that I possibly can. She is going to be located in Grizzlies East. Now, if, if you guys don't know where Grizzlies East is at, if you guys know where Okray's Run or Moonstone Pond, it's basically straight north of where Emerald Station is at. The fast travel location of choice will today will be will be Emerald Station. Or if you guys have the Moonshine Shack in New Hanover, it'll be a little bit closer than Emerald Station is. So. It's actually not that far of a ride from Emerald Station, so it really shouldn't be that hard to find. But um, that's where you guys will be able to find her fairly close to Okray's run in the Grizzlies East. So hopefully that does help you guys out. I do apologize. I can't really necessarily show you guys where it's at on the map. And see, we can't even actually log in. We're getting booted before we can actually even get into a session. This is how ridiculous this game has turned out to be lately. But anyway... You guys, uh, that's the only thing that you guys came here for to know where you can find her. Sorry, I couldn't show you guys on the map. I do apologize. Clearly not my fault. You guys can thank Rockstar for that. Uh, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. A like definitely goes a long way here on the channel. It shows your love and support of the channel and the videos. And for me, wasting 45 minutes trying to get into Red Dead Online so that I can uh, make a, a video location for you guys um, to make it easier on you guys. So, yeah. Leave a like down below, and maybe we'll actually get this game fixed. Maybe in 2022. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing, and that's going to be talking about the collection cycles and their... Or the collection sets and their current cycles. Now, I've explained this on a live stream, and I've explained this last couple days. I'm not going to really get into, like, what the cycles are, but if you guys do have any further questions regarding them, by all means, leave that comment and question down below. Anyway, um... The cycles that I'm going to go over are going to be completely random. So if you use the field shovel on any of these, you're not guaranteed to get a specific item. And this is going to in include the following sets. So we got Lost Jewelry, which will be part of cycle number six for today. Arrowheads will be a part of cycle number five. Coins will be a part of cycle number six as well. Family Heirlooms, part of cycle five. And then the Fossils will also be part of cycle number five. Now, the, the fossils are only available on PS4 as of right now, uh, but they will be eventually coming to uh, Xbox uh, later. Now, the next four sets I'm actually about to go over, you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them. However, you do need to be a collector in order to, to be able to sell them and actually make money from being a collector. So you got the American Wildflowers, which you can actually collect three sets each and every single day. That's going to be a part of cycle number four. We have the tarot cards, which are going to be a part of cycle number five. We have the antique alcohol bottles, which is going to be a part of cycle number four. And the bird eggs are also going to be a part of cycle number four for today. Now, moving on to the daily challenges, we're going to go ahead and just kind of go over the list real quick. So just bear in mind that, uh, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see anything. But, uh, I mean, I guess I could put this over it because it's pretty much just a quick little... Uh, video of me actually just grabbing the daily challenges so that I could actually make a video on it. But the first one is going to be facial appearance updated at a barber. Wow, we actually got in. That is actually shocking. Let's see how long this actually takes. If we can load into the daily challenges. Uh, facial appearance updated at a barber. Follow the dog to something interesting. 
One jumped from a horse to another horse. Five non-player enemies killed while using Deadeye. The next one actually on the list is try not to get disconnected from Red Dead Online. Uh, the next one after that is going to be two snakes in for today. We also have successfully fended off an ambush. One visited Fort Mercer. The bounty hunter roll, we have three bounty targets brought in. Three eagle eye used to track a bounty target. Three or more than one bounty target brought in at once. The uh, trader roll, we have $200 money made from trading. One resupply mission completed with five minutes left. Ten small animal carcasses donated to Crips. We have the collector roll, which is going to be three collectibles found with a shovel. Three collectibles looted from non-player enemies. And then we have three family heirlooms found. We have the moonshiner roll. There's going to be $200 money made from moonshine sold. One moonshine bar changed decor. Four moonshine served to other players at a bar. And then last but not least, we have the naturalist roll, which is going to be three forest or river animal samples taken. Two hardy tonics used while too hot or too cold. And then we have three wetland animal samples taken. All right, so let's actually break this down and go over those in detail so that you guys can actually earn as much gold as possible. Now, you guys can actually earn up to 11 gold bars every single day. Now, there is technically only one requirement, but I'm actually going to list it as two. The first and only technical requirement right now going forward is that you guys complete 21 days in a row of one daily challenge. So, one daily challenge, it's all you got to do. And there's always one daily challenge that you can get done in a very short amount of time. And then after that, uh, I would recommend that you guys have all of the current roles. So there's five of them right now. And then be at least a rank 10 in each of those. And then right now we have, if you guys complete all the daily general challenges, which are seven of them, you can get up to one and a half gold bar bonus for completing them. And if you guys actually complete nine of the daily role challenges, then you guys will actually get, oh my gosh, literally like two seconds. Okay. Uh, then you can actually get the bonus for completing nine daily challenges, daily, daily rule challenges. Now, I definitely recommend that you guys do the daily rule challenges anyway, uh, because there's 15 every single day, and you can pick the nine easiest ones or the ones that you feel the most comfortable with completing. You can get that bonus as, uh, as much as possible. Yesterday was the first day in quite some time where I've actually, well, since the update, but even before then, that I've actually done all the daily challenges and completed all the daily rule challenges. Now, obviously, completing all the daily rule challenges is that there's only nine of them, and then it locks you out of the rest of them, so you can't do any more. So let's go over these in detail. The first one is obviously going to be the daily rule or the daily general challenges. We got facial appearance updated at a barber. Girls, uh, you're going to have to change your makeup for guys. Obviously, do something with your beard. And you can do this at um, any of the barbers. So you have one in Saint Denis, You have one in Blackwater. And also one in Valentine. Foul a dog to something interesting. Yeah. That's going to be virtually impossible to explain that without actually showing you guys on a the map. There's a couple different locations. One's a little bit south of... Uh, Armadillo, you can actually find one there. You can also find one um, right off the Dakota River, just a little bit north of Flatneck Station. Another one that you can find is actually a little bit north of Ansburg at one of the bends. Uh, maybe I can actually show you guys real quick while we're actually doing this. So uh, the Ansburg one will actually be right here on this bend right here. Um, they'll actually... The one in Emerald Ranch. This is honestly getting really ridiculous and super, super annoying. But there's over one by uh, Emerald Ranch as well. So those are the four locations that I gave, can give to you at least off the top of my head right now. We got one jump from a horse to another horse. That's easy peasy. Just find an NPC or even a friend and jump from one horse to another. Uh, the next one on the list is going to be five non-player enemies killed while in Deadeye. Uh, you can do this a couple different ways. You can actually um, do like a bootlegger mission if you can actually log into the game. Well, all of these could possibly be done if you can actually get into the game. Um, you could do like a moonshine, like bootlegger mission. You could do a gang hideout or you could even do one of the naturals roll, which is basically uh, let loose a animal from the poachers. Those are all non-player enemies that you could use Deadeye on. But if you want to go, if you can't find any of those, or maybe you're not a high enough rank or just don't have enough money to purchase one of those ranks or roles, then go to like Van Horn or Thieves Landing. 
However, if you do it that way, you will get a little bit of dishonor. The next one on the list is going to be two snake skinned. Um, basically, just travel along the roadside, wait for a red, little red dot, maybe wait for your horse to flip out. More than likely, it's going to be a snake. Especially if you spend a lot of time in the Blue Water Marsh area or N or the Bayou NWA, those are really good opportunities to find um, snakes. Successfully fend off an ambush. Again, this is going to be really hard to explain where they're at. Uh, there's one north of Valentine in Cumberland Forest. There's one south of Valentine down by Caliban Seat. You can find one over by the Dakota River. Again, really close to where you can find the dog. If you find the dog, that's by Flattenican Station, just a little bit north. Which, uh, that, that, actually, I am really close to that. Just looking at where this is at right here. So, I'm actually at Caliban Seat right now. So, it can happen right here along right there. Um, and you can also get the dog is right here at this intersection and then there's a, a Gang um, ambush there. There's also one here at this river crossing and you can also find one over here by um, McFarland's ranch right in this location So those are kind of the, the ones that you want to go to uh, the next and last one for the daily general challenges is going to be Visit Fort Mercer, which is down in the new Austin area just south of Armadillo we got uh, three bounty targets brought in. They can be from anywhere. Just bring them in. Three eagle eye. Use a track a bounty target. The best way to do this is to get the yellow area where you have to actually inspect like certain areas or clues in order to find the target. You want to make sure that you guys actually use eagle eye and track them basically like you would track an animal. You got three more than one bounty target brought in at once. The best way to do this is actually with a friend. And there's actually, I think there was a, another one if I remember reading it correctly that you guys had to do with a friend anyway. But... That way, if you guys are both higher than a rank 15, you guys will have the same daily challenge, and then you can uh, help each other get more than one target by bringing in two at a time. The trader roll, we have $200 of money made from trading, so the best way to get this one is to get full 100 goods and then do a local delivery. In my personal opinion, you can do, you can do a distant delivery if you really want to. Anybody that helps you will make half that, so $250 or $312.50, or if you help somebody else and you, you're getting half that, you're still making more than $200. One resupply mission completed with five minutes left. So basically do a resupply mission as fast as you possibly can. Ten small animal carcasses donated to Crips. We had 20 yesterday. So this is going to be all the small animals like, uh, well, I guess it says right in there, small animals. But this is going to include like bats, rats, toads, bullfrogs, squirrels, western chipmunks, crows, and any of the small birds. We have the collector roll. Three collectibles found with the shovel. Um, we kind of went over that a little bit at the beginning with the... Uh, Collection sets. We got collectibles looted from non-player enemies. So the bootlegger missions, the poacher missions, the uh, uh, gang hideouts, any of those events that you guys can come across or even like the gang, uh, the ambush today. Make sure that you guys are looting everybody because the more people that you can loot, the higher chance, obviously. If you don't loot anybody, then you're not going to have any chance of ever getting this one completed. Uh, then we got uh, family heirlooms found. There's three of those, and those are going to be a part of cycle number five for today. We have to make $200 money made from moonshine. Obviously, if you have the special, like a special ingredient, um, special moonshine with strong, then you'll make $247.50. So you'll make more than that as long as you don't break a bottle, because as soon as you break a bottle, you'll make less than $200. Not good. We got moonshine bar, change decor. You can do this one of two ways. You can either change the entire theme of the moonshine shack. Typically gold, but if you've already purchased one, then you can change it back to the basic. Otherwise, you can actually just change a painting around. This is the other one that you can do with a friend. Four moonshine serve to another player at a bar. Doesn't have to be in the same posse, but you just invite them into your shack and serve them. And then they can actually serve you at your bar, or you can serve them at their bar, and it will count. It doesn't have to be specifically at your bar. And then last but not least, we have the naturalist roll. So we got three forest river animal samples taken. Um... So just go to that category and whatever you find to be the easiest i would have to say that probably like the deer um is what you probably want to go after so the white-tailed deer or d the buck or doe i think rabbits are part of that whatever i'm still like, trying to get familiar with all the different animals in certain areas we got two hardy tonics used you can purchase these from harriet at any of her stalls um obviously you use it in too hot too cold so Probably do this up and I would do this up in Amberino personally. Maybe do something up by Coulter today. And then wetland animal samples found. So this is going to be obviously there's I think cougar or the panthers are involved in there. 
And then um, I always forget which ones those are a part of. I'm surprised we actually didn't get disconnected, to be honest. Only took an hour to... I thought we got disconnected. It only took an hour to actually get into a session. Absolutely crazy and ridiculous. So alligators, iguanas, yeah, and the panthers are part of that. Okay, that's what I thought. And then a ton of snakes. And then for the forest ones, not that one, but for the forest ones, yeah, so you got rabbits um beavers raccoons whatever all these are fairly easy to get i would say the only hard ones are the moose the mooses are the hardest to get but anyway that is all the daily challenges done gone over and covered if you guys do have any questions regarding any of the daily challenges then by all means leave a comment down below because i'd love to be able to help you guys out if i possibly can however i do apologize for rockstar's incompetence of actually not having a uh, good quality server and them not even trying to fix their uh, issues with their game. It really sucks that I can't get in to help you guys out the best that I way possible, possibly can. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. It helped me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.